gets pushed in. All right, folks, we got some jerseys finally for this one. All right, welcome back for game two. It's five side, the three seed, taking on the six seed of Theta Delta Chi squad. Tim Duffy and Jake McKinnon, URI Hockey's own finest, on the call here today. <laughs> it's a pleasure. I appreciate you guys having me. As we have our second game, ooh, whoops. As we have, as we have our second game of the night, it's five side taking on This Theta place Delta is getting Chi. loud. Five side in the... Red jerseys, Thedo Takai in the white. As this game is underway, we just had our first game of the evening with Teak Delta Kai, the five seed, beating Tep Sammy 1 0. And it's TDX no. getting it to begin this one. It's Chris Govin. I may be incorrect, but I believe Theta Delta Kai has a lot of roller hockey players. Roller hockey, yeah. huh? Oh, we got a goal! We got a goal! Immediately. First goal of the game belongs to nowhere. TDX. Just 25 seconds into this one. And it's Damian Mall with the goal. That one didn't take long. It's Monday night! It's South Kingston! It's the Boss Ice Arena! Where would you rather be? <laughs> TDX on top first. And we didn't see the first goal until about halfway through. Yeah. I'll tell you the what. The first I, game, the first period of the first game, and we got one less than 30 seconds in this one. This one's just got to, oh, oh. Ty, slipping through. Oh, 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 disgusting deep from Dylan right. Schultz to tie things up at one apiece. Gross. And what hey. a way to answer. Let's get... Let's get that kid's name. We might need him on the team next year. Dylan Schultz, number seven. Yeah, we're gonna have to reach out to him. Seriously. Hands for days, boys. 
I'll it's tell you what, that water. first game was a great game, but right now you can reach out and you can grab the tension out there. There's a lot riding on this one. It's five sides trying to answer here, but TDX able to rip it away out of the pile. Ooh. It's Ryan Mitchell, that one goes wide of the mark. James Cav trying to come back in the zone. Just look at the replay. The first goal, it looked like it was scored by Chris Govin, actually, for Taya Delta Kai. I'll have to confirm in a sec. It was so fast in real time as it came off the ricochet. I feel like I can't go much longer without shouting out five size goalies pads. I mean, those things are disgusting. The vintage brown look, oh, can't get better yeah, than that. Yeah, are, those are pretty nice. Those are sweet. Very picturesque. Here's Sal Krikorian. Krikorian kicks it behind him back to James Cav, and this one's turned over. Oh, hits that off the flip. wall and finds its way over cross ice to Mitchell. Mitchell leading the break. Mitchell thought he got on net, got poked away. And it's taken back oh. by Five Side, retaken by Hauser oh. for TDX. Second chance. Look at him couldn't up the punch it in. He's got a stride on him, number seven, huh? These five side guys, wow. they got their last names on these jersey, on these threads too. Yeah, Looking they didn't clean. come here to mess around. And that shot knocked down was Lunny taking the shot. We got chance in the crowd now, guys. Long look, save, second chance. And Chardo couldn't get a stick on it there. So it hits off the wall and trying to angle it over to a Chardo. Gets by him. Schultz fighting for it. This one goes into the netting. For a lot of these players, I mean, they've never really been on this ice before. And for most of them, they really haven't been playing a lot of hockey recently, I'm assuming. So, I mean, that's definitely going to take some time to adjust to the surface. There's a lot of bumps and crevices out there. You'll throw the puck off the wall and it'll bounce to the left in the right corner. Yeah, we were just talking about that in between games. I mean, these guys haven't really played on the Boston Ice Arena. And, you know, what kind of advantage or disadvantage do you think that brings, you know, playing on an ice for the first time? Absolutely. What kind, what kind of disadvantages do you think? The disadvantages? In that right corner over there, if you put the puck on the boards, it'll bounce to the left side instead of the right. I can remember that for sure. So you right know all the, the ins and outs. Here. Here's a shot from Govin gets saved. Yeah, so number two, he's Govin. He's got to be a roller hockey player because of the helmet, I'm pretty sure. And you can tell from the hands he's a roller hockey player too. He's got good mitts. It's a good trait to have mm. for a tournament like this. That's a whiffer. Here's Krikorian. And Krikorian gets that one tipped away. It's taken by Hauser. Ooh. Slicing through. Nice move by Hauser. That one. He got his pocket pick oh, there. Wants the puck. Intercepted uh -oh. again we got by a break Damian here. Mall. TDX with a chance. Gets poked away. Govin trying to keep it ooh, in the offensive ooh. zone. Gets out of the pile. Govin fires Thanks and gets eight. saved. Second chance here, though, for Mole. Third try. It's still alive. Govin able to get it back at the right side. Oh, point. my Go God. What a save. They just can't put the chicken oh. in the coop. What a rejection from Louis Alfidi to fake the snatch right there. You're not going to see that every day, I'll tell you that. While on his backside, puts the mid up, makes the most impressive I mean, that's save of the game so far. desperation save. Only thing he could do, throw the glove up there and he finds it. Unbelievable. What a save. Ooh, some sauce in the blue line, but it might have been too much for him. We got break for Achardo! Here's a good chance for Achardo. Colby Achardo! 2-1. Oh! Five side in front. Wow. I think we got ourselves a game here, folks. Whoa. I'll tell you what, this environment plays a factor. Nothing better than scoring a goal and being able to go celebrate in front of all your brothers like that. Yeah, also as a power play, too. 
We got a five side player in the box. It's Coco I Keegan. I don't know what happened there. He scored a goal. I don't know how they could have got a penalty. Shot gets saved. Mitchell oh. made the save. Now the helmet falling off of a fitty. We're going to have to talk to someone to see what happened on that penalty there. Because I feel like it must have been an extracurricular thing, maybe during the celebration. Because nothing happened during the play that was called. Yeah. I mean, I didn't see anything either. I, I just saw a guy in the box right when yeah. I looked up. He must have done something that no one saw. But the ref got it. I mean, talk about a first period here. Yeah, I mean, already three goals in the first period. Off the face-off, of Fidi will fall on top of it. Uh, Zayden Foka was the one toucher there for TDX on net. As there's 40 seconds left in the TDX power play, and this running clock definitely, you know, hurting TDX on the man-up chance right now. Under 30 oh. seconds left on the power play, and it's been another whistle blown. And that, and that penalty is just going to keep clicking down. Honestly, if I'm Faisai, I'm just going to keep getting whistles. Yeah, let I mean, the penalty go down. You don't have to kill it. And they get one there. It was against Schultz. Well, that's just going to end the power play. Yeah, I think anyways. that was smart. Just talk to the ref a little bit. Let the 10 seconds wind down. And you're five on five here. Hockey's a mental game, folks. He's right back out on the ice. Mental game. As let's see which team is actually stronger. Icing right after uh, the face off is we're looking at 35 seconds and counting down here in the opening period. I feel like you gotta have better awareness there. Penalty just clicked on. You gotta know your five on five can't ice the puck there. I'm probably assuming he probably still thought they were killing. And now they finally I mean, this is, the oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I think we all forgot that the clock stops in the final minute because nobody uh -oh. even said anything till now. Well, the fans are letting them know. I'll tell you that. So the clock is stopped at 23.2. They're going to put 40 seconds on oh. the clock. Wow. Wow. So you have 17 seconds back on the clock. As it was just at 23.2. That's a lot of time. That's a lot of time. That's, a, you know, a full possession. Yeah. Added back on the clock is let's see what they can do here. Five side trying to get out of the way. It's Mitchell. Oh. It's that In one. your feet. Oh. Tipped and Govin. That's caught up. Lost the puck. Mitchell there to help out. And now we're caught back up to time. 23 seconds to go here in, I guess you could say first half. <laughs> it's a game of two periods, but here's Mitchell. Tips it four. This one down the ice goes wide of the net. Final ticks here in the first period. Hauser trying to box out, taking away by five side. Ooh. Govin got a stick in there, and that's going to end the first half. 2 1. Five side on top, trying to book their trip to a game against State of Kai in the semifinals. We'll be right back. Actually, no, I forgot. We're taking no commercials. Yeah, nope. This yeah. is a commercialist Nothing. day. Non stop action. Non stop action, and it's 2 1 after. One, and you got nine minutes left in this one. Winner goes on next round, and Jake, what did you see in that first period? You know, a lot of scoring mm -hmm. here in this first period, albeit there was, you know, no URI goaltender, either goal mm -hmm. this matchup. But so um, I, what do you think about these offenses getting in the back of the net early and often here in this one? Here's what I would say. In a game like this where there's high stakes, a lot of people tend to just go crazy, right? It's going to be the person who can control their energy, not run around with their head cut off, it can play the game the right way that's going to win this one. Because as you can see, goals are going to happen instantly if you make a mistake. In a game like this where it's so open, there's not a lot of structure. There's not really any defensive schemes. No one, they're just going out there and playing. Yeah, I mean, there's no coaches either. <laughs> oh, ah! it looks, oh, we I mean, got some girls on the couple. benches here with helmets oh, okay. on. I, they could be coaches. They could be coaches. We'll be making the subs, getting them in and out. <laughs> I think, I think we got coaches. I didn't mean to undermine <laughs> the women. Good thing it's not March anymore. <laughs> that could have been detrimental, but they're doing a great job coaching. Everyone's having a lot of fun here oh, yeah. at Boss Ice Street. We got nine minutes left here in game number two. Atmosphere here is A1. Sure is. And we got all the fans of you know these two teams stand mm -hmm. up, or at least one side. I'm not sure what side that is. Yeah. It's a big poopery of Greek life, fellas. Here I'm pretty sure this today. is the final day of Greek, Greek week, too. Is it? 
I think so. I think this is where it all finishes. This is the so grand finale. All the stakes are here. That's what I was told. Tonight. Oh, uh, Chardo looking for another one. Travka Chardo. They both lost their balance. And TDX is going to take it back here. Chardo's got some it's wheels on him. I, it looks like a Lincoln High School helmet. That's right near us, huh? Lincoln. Oh, it's for Corey oh. again through traffic. Sets it up for Hauser. Oh. Corey goes wide of the marker. Hauser actually got that one on net. I'll tell you what. Missing a little bit left. Key rather. to the game here. Put pucks on net. Here's a Chardo putting on the he wants it. A Chardo wants a shot. A Chardo oh. missed it right. Just wide on the glove side there. And it's going to bounce all the way to center ice to find Ash Austin Ashby. Lunny gets it inside. Ooh. A Chardo with some space. A Chardo gets through traffic, and it's Whoa. saved. What a save covering up at the a end Chardo of the play A Chardo could have had a hat trick in that shift. He Almost is everywhere in this game. Hunting the puck. I said he could have had a hat trick there in that shift. Got himself like four opportunities. They don't have yeah, to answer. I mean, he had those. a lot of opportunities there. Someone's gonna have to slow him down over there. Good oh, he's look. got space. A lot of space. Oh. It's in at the midst of the goaltender. Would have liked to see him skate in a little bit more there. Get a better uh, angle on that shot. Well, that was Ashby save. with a great look. Five pull through the defender's legs. Up to Krikorian, and Krikorian get caught up. Well, we got no people with their hands there. up. Looking for calls. Krikorian almost getting called for the penalty for a hold at least. And no whistle. And the five side faithful not liking that one. No, they were definitely not happy. Ooh. This one's tipped by Cav, and James Cav will have it at center ice. Nope. Use it for behind. Got something. Oh! A nice wiggle to get free. It's gone. Give that kid a map. Shot saved. I think the goalies might have picked it up a little bit here in the second. They weren't really happy with all those goals in the first. You've seen them flash the leather. All right, here comes. Oh. And off the face off. It's going to bounce all the way backwards. Into the neutral zone. It's Justin Rahm. Good pass up ahead. Stop with the foot. TDX looking for the equalizer here. They scored oh. just 25 seconds in this game. They have not scored since. It's Coco Keegan who went into the box earlier with the puck now. And Keegan gets that one tipped out of his mitts by Logan Johnston. Oh, we got penalty. Johnston, that's a penalty down. Free play here. And now they'll address the penalty with five and a half minutes to go. So in the frat classic, you cannot hit, and he just hit that kid. So that's why he got the penalty. Pretty easy that call. Was, yeah, that's a no-brainer. I mean, everyone saw that one. It's James Cav, two minutes going into the box. That's a tough the one. Hit. And it, yeah, it's going to be tough now. With your team down one, five DX. minutes left, running clock. Yeah. Putting him in a pretty bad spot. Short-handed and in need of a goal. So Exactly. Definitely hey. not ideal. I've seen crazier things happen, though. This one's not over. Far from it. I was surprised in the first game. We didn't see a goalie pulled. Nothing. But it was one nothing with so little time it, left. We didn't even see the superstar, Jack Drowen, who was on our team, get on the ice for the last minute. Yeah. That game's behind us. Sure is. And that oh, will oh. get inside. Second chance shot. Hits the post for Lunny. Ian Long last. Over the top of the net. Uh, oh, for Eaton. Chardo with it on the half wall. Chardo, Ooh. Lunny leaves it for Eaton. Tries it again, saves Big again. Save. It'll bounce over to Ashby. Ashby trying to get by Justin Rahm. Oh, and it's getting chippy. Oh, it's going. getting Another chippy. Big hit. That's going to be an easy Oh, he's pass. taking him. He's taking him. He's having none yeah. of it. And... They're both going to go to the box for that, looks like. It's yeah. Ashby for Faisai. Ref sending a message. They're not, they're not putting up with that tonight. And Justin Rahm. They don't want any of that. Yeah, they don't want to put up with Ooh, it. But the fans want it, though. The fans are saying let the boys play. 
Yeah, we had a very clean first game, yeah. no penalties. Now Nothing. four in this game already. Seriously. Three in the last you know minute and a half. It's getting trippy here in crunch time. Like you said, there's a lot at stake here 100%. in these games. Looking for this the this ain't no pickup game for them. Fasse looking for the insurance goal. Eaton trying to get it. That one's saved. Eaton's throwing pucks right over the net every time. Keep that thing on the ice. 15 seconds left in the first penalty. It's four on four at the moment. Actually, no, still five on four, my apologies. So this is the end of the power play in five seconds. Eaton surveys, fires, and oh, scores! Ben Lundy with the goal! You shoot it on the ice, it gets tipped! I feel like I deserve some credit for that one. And Lunny on the tip. Gets five size sub insurance. That's, That's number three. Gets gold number three for the three seed. Is that the dagger though? Lots of left. The, is TDX going to fight back? We saw two goals in 30 seconds first minute of this game. So anything can happen here. My friend Cam Rancourt, he always says two goal lead is the most dangerous in hockey. Absolutely. Not much time left though as that one's saved. As everybody coming out of the box now. Now let's watch this clock here. Do they stop it? They're going to keep letting it run? Yeah, the penalties are over I there. Guess they're, now we're running the clock? Uh, I don't I know what's going on the, with that. I think it's in the last minute we stop. Maybe two. Maybe two. Maybe two minutes. The first it's period, I know, 13, was at least so a minute. Know. Oh, two on one here! It's Foka. He's got Hauser with it. Foka puts it on net. And... Glove save and a beauty. It's saved. It got saved. And now it's saved. Running clock, yeah. I have fitty. I'll tell you what, seven wanted that puck. Well, I got eyes on Jonathan Shaw. He's a star player for Theta Kai in this next game. Shazi, see, that's what they, they have on the roster is Shazi. <laughs> oh, back in the funny score! TDX getting one back on the board. Hauser in the right this place at the right time to cut the deficit to one with 90 seconds left. This thing is not over, but if I'm... Or if Govin. I'm, TDX, Govin get to that second. piss off thought. It's Chris Govin again with the goal, his second Good. on the tip-in. If I'm them, why am I selling? It's a running clock. I'm getting to that face-off dot, so I have time. I, I don't understand that. I don't I, get it. I completely agree. You can't sell in that situation. I don't get it. They have one more chance. It's Govin, Hauser. Uh-oh. Oh, he and jumps up and put snags down it. By Damian Mole. Under oh. a minute to go. Here's a chance for the tie. Try to stop Govin. And Afridi gets on top of it. <laughs> I think we're in for a full motion picture here of an ending. Excuse me, it actually was Steven Hauser on the goal. That was right the first time. Oh, it's getting loud in here, folks. It's crunch time. And there's 47 seconds left. Pardon the clock that we have on our screen. So it is crunch time. Here in the second quarterfinal matchup, the six seed and the three seed. And the six seed at TDX trying to tie things up. Oh, oh, is that looking oh, for the net? Is that empty netter? It goes wide of the mark. Like you said, no empty net last game, but empty net this game. TDX making the big time audible right there, getting it done. Now, that might be because they got two coaches on the bench over there on the left side who told them to do that. In the last game, we had no coaches. So that, that could be a factor. That could have been a coach's call. And I said again. The Unless Chardo the has something to say about it. He's going to get there, and he oh. actually can't first. It'll be an icing call. I thought, I thought for sure he was just going to turn on the next gear and win, get that puck. One last gasp for Theta Delta Chi. Where is it? And Look. another icing. Look, I, I'm Didn't not even out. see it there. I'm not out here to, to discredit anybody, but that puck was out of play for at least five seconds before that whistle was blown. I, that's just not right, in my opinion. I'm not trying to single out the refs or saying they're doing a bad job there, but that's five seconds that they just let tick off for no reason. It's 
23 seconds at Chardo. That's not going to make it. Chase after the I don't think it's going to make it. Logan Johnson will get there first. 15 seconds and counting down. One last breath to breathe for Theta Delta Chi. Here's Govin gets oh. it taken away by Chardo. Guess but who? Chardo Guess who? will put this one oh. wide to the left, gets it right back. Will milk the clock out. Five sides moving game. on. What a game. They win it 3 2. I mean, can we get another period? I can watch this all night. What a great game that one was. And the boys are loving it. Five side gonna play Theta Kai. In the quarter, in the semifinal matchup. So we're going to stay on the air as we have one of our skills competitions coming up, or it's something along those lines. It's listed as one of the mini games. Oh. So we're going to see what this is all about. It's going to be cool. And we're going to do it on this stream. So stay tuned on this stream. The next game will be at 7 30. The Capsig taking on Teak Delta Kai. That's one you don't want to miss. Sure is, and the game at 8.30 will be Theta Kai against the winner of this one, Phi Sai, who wins it 3-2. Some Tim Duffy and Jake McKinnon. We'll be right back for one of these mini games, and then the Zamboni following after that. So we'll be right back in a sec here on Fans Only Sports Network. Alright, so this is the fastest skater competition, I believe. They have a lot of stuff going on, so. Look at the wheels out here. Oh! Oh! Hey, but she's getting right back up. Right back up. Keep going! Keep going! Yeah, she's got no quit in her, I'll tell you that. No quit. Look at that stride. Look at that! Look at that! Oh, yeah. Gets Real back up, stride. what a champion, what a champion. That was a good time, I think that was a good time. I'd say so far she's in the lead. I believe this is Sig Kai. We got... We got Sig Kai here. Oh, he's coming out with the races. Look at that stride. Oh, he's put on the Jets. Yeah, he's not messing around. Let's see him coming on the turn, the turn there, though. That's that's everything is that turn. If you come in there with too much speed and you can't control it. You can say goodbye. Exactly. Good finish, though. Oh. That's me, a good time. I don't know if that beat the first one. It's going to be close. But it was a good time for sure. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Now the first skater chose to not bring a stick. The next two have sticks. And you think I think a stick now, is a tactical move, especially if you've played hockey before. Exactly. I was just gonna say, me personally, I wouldn't want to skate without a stick. Look at this. Good stride on her. Full stride using her whole blade. 
not trying to go too fast around the turns, using her crossovers to her advantage. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. That's how you get it done. We got a goalie helmet here. And goalie skates. I'm, I'm going to assume it's probably a goalie. Let's see what the goalie can do. I mean. Now he's got way longer blades than anybody else who's out here, but usually that's not going to help your case. But he's moving. He is moving. I just heard his name is Owen, and Owen is flying. Yep, let's see the stop. Good. Yeah, that, that's going to get him a good time. That's going to get him a real good time. And I think one aspect that we haven't really touched upon yet is the fans being here. I think if that kid did a lap around this rink with nobody here, it could be fast, but it's not going to be his fastest. He's going to give his best when he's got his friends here cheering him on. That's just a whole other level to this event that we haven't really talked about that makes it so special. Ex that is also something we haven't talked about. This ice has not been Zamboni, right? So there is going to be grooves, rivets, divots, bumps everywhere. There's going to be snow in your way. You're going to go around the corner. Maybe you catch an edge on the snow. I don't know. That's why it's so important to stay in control in moments like this, as we're seeing right here done beautifully. Now, I believe those might be a pair of rental skates. And I'll tell you what, the URI Boss Ice Arena has a great program set up where you can come grab skates and come out and play hockey whenever you want. Here she comes crossing the blue line. Now she's at the red line. Approaching the blue line and she crosses the blue line. She's now in on the top. She's almost there. And she's home safe, baby. That is a good time. That is a real good time. It's going to be hard to beat. Up next we got Cap Sig. They have the first overall seed in this game. And they do have two of my roommates on the team. We will see how that plays for him, though, today. This kid looks like he's going through the motions. He's not even trying. I mean, he's moving and he's going fast, but he's not even bending his knees out there. I mean, kudos to him, but that's not the effort we like out here, to be honest with you. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Oh, now we got Kai O. Kayo chose to go with the figure skates and no stick for this one. But the flow is coming out of the bucket. I'll tell you that much. She crosses the red line here. Gaining speed with a big, long stride. Oh, she knows what she's doing. Oh, look at the edge work there. Yeah, that's a figure skater for sure. When you push down your edges like that, they don't teach that in hockey. I wish they did. Yeah, she knows what she's doing. That's a good time. That's going to definitely put her in contention for sure. Now I believe we have Theta Kai. Oh, he wants it. Now one thing he does need to help is his chest is coming way too forward. He is going to pull his body weight forward off his skates on his toes. We need him to sit back in a chair just like he's doing now. He's put into another gear. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if I like that ending there. I want to see him go into the boards full speed. Every second counts. Oh, look at this, the gun show. She's flexing on us over here. Oh, look at that stride. Yep. She's not cutting those short, I'll tell you that. Perfect. Now, she really only likes to use her right skate here. She is not pushing off of her left skate. This is an interesting tactic that I have truly never seen before. But we're going to see how it plays out for her here. That is, I mean, that's a hell of a right stride. That is a good right stride right there. Oh, baby, she's coming in. Oh, but she's closer. Oh, oh. Smooth. Hold it. Good. Perfect. Great job there again. Now we have Sammy. That, I thought Sammy was a name, but I guess that's a frat. And he's going no tart. He chose stick, pants, skates, helmet, no tarp. Look at this kid go. Yeah, someone told him to go out there and win. Atta boy. Good performance there. 
100, me personally, I would 100% say a stick gives it an advantage because it's just, for me, it's more natural having a stick in my hand. I would feel weird without it. And honestly, a stick helps you steer when you're skating. When you have a stick in front of you, it helps keep your body in the position to go forward instead of pulling you side to side off your skates. Look at the wheels here. We got, we got a no visor. We just got a straight bucky. So if she goes face first, this, this could get ugly, but I don't think she's gonna. She's a good skater over here. She's a real good skater. Look at her go. Oh, yeah. She, oh. Wow. That's good stuff. Now, I'm going to give a shout out to one of my good friends. She's an 80 pie. She's running this whole thing on the mic right now, Meg Patron. She did a lot of work for this event, and it's not easy. You know, a lot of people yelling at her, a lot of pressure. Everyone wants it a certain way, but she stood up and she decided to take on that challenge. So, shout out to Meg for doing all this. We appreciate it. Everyone's having a great time. Up. He was going to try to go no Bucky, but Meg wasn't going to let that happen. Now we have 80 pie, speak of the devil. Oh, ho, ho. now he's going for a little bit of short choppy strides behind the net instead of crossovers, which is interesting, but let's see how he comes around this net. Oh, look at that. Leaning in with his left shoulder. Yep, that's great posture. Long strides, not wasting any movement. Well done. Very well done. And it looks like that could be the last skater of the event. Now that was a blast. I'm not sure if we're going to be told who won or not. I don't have the official times, but I'm sure we'll probably be able to acquire those. Now I'm sure all of you guys, if you're tuning in, maybe not if you're a frat person and you don't like hockey, but I'll help you out a little bit. This is a competition that's done at pretty much every NHL All-Star game, and for the past five or so years, it's been absolutely dominated by Connor McDavid. Now, I'm not sure what competition we have going on here, but it's some kind of event. Now, I'm looking at the back of the shirt on this girl here. It says Athena. Now, I believe that's the goddess of love, if I'm correct. I'm not sure. The long shot. All right. Rumor, rumor on the street is we might be doing the long shot here. Now, I'm assuming. Yeah. <laughs> I'm. Say long. Oh no, we're still doing the skating. Yeah, we're still doing the skating. I think we just switched the starting point to over to this side. Now she chose no stick, no visor, no cage. Look at her go. Now she's really relying on the glide here. She is not using too many strides to push. She's really relying on that glide, so. Wow. Well, she's around the second net, folks, and she is moving. She sees the finish line in her sights, and she is gonna get there. Wow. Wow. Remarkable. This is good stuff. Now I'll tell you what, it's not easy to get out there and skate, especially if you don't play hockey or if you've never done it before. You're going out there with two blades on ice and you gotta skate around. Not easy. But we're moving here. We got wheels on Drew. I just heard his name is Drew. And I don't think Drew's out here to come in second place. I think he's got his eyes on the... Oh! He's got... Oh! Oh! Look at him go! Well done by Drew there. Now, I'm, I'm peeking over there. I think we still got a lot of contestants coming up. I think we might have a biker helmet with the flyer sticker on it. That thing's sweet. <laughs> Must be. Now, here comes... I'm not sure what sorority was said. I'm sorry. I, I did not catch that one, but... Oh, oh, we got a spill! But she got right back up. Not even on the ice for less than a second. She's up. That is the definition of determination. I'll tell you what, if someone asked me to place a wager, I would go sell my house, take everything I have out of the bank, and I would put it on her to finish this. I would guarantee you she will get to the finish line. And look at her, look at the stride. Now she's got it. Oh, she's got it now. It just, it took a second. That's, yeah, that's a stride. 
Exact. Yeah, exactly. That's a good tactic. That is a very good point. Now, if you're not usually a, a skater, oh, right back up, right up, right back up, right back up. That is all day. Now, if I'm her, maybe I go towards the boards and put my hand against the glass so I hold myself up the whole time and do not risk falling down. Look at her go. That's, oh, oh! Up again. Right back up again. Yep. Oh, oh yeah. Now, I think one thing that we're lacking right now, though, is the crowd. I think everyone needs to start giving her a little bit more love to get to that finish line. And she's there. Well done. Job well done. We're having fun out here, folks. We're going to be here all night. This thing goes till 11, I believe. We got TDX, I think. Oh, this kid's fast. I, already, I just saw him play. He's fast. He's, he's got the roller hockey helmet, so he's got hands, but he's got a hell of a stride as well. Yeah, look at him go around that net there, right? He's using his edges instead of using crossovers. But right here, he's going to crossover. Yeah, look at those crossovers. Nope, he's going to use his edges. There's the crossovers. There's the crossovers. And he's there. Now, folks, if you ever catch the NHL All-Star game, when you see McDavid or Dylan Larkin doing this one, you're not going to see them take many straightaway strides. Most of the time they're going in a circle, they'll be doing the crossovers the whole time because that's how you get the most power in that stride. Oh, look at this. Oh, I know this girl. Yep, this would be Caroline. She's a member of the URI women's club hockey team. She's a very good player for them. She's also good friends with my friend, Nick Marangola, the goalie on my team. And that is a heck of a run right there by her. I think she's going to put herself pretty high. Pretty, pretty high. Now here's the man I was just talking about. I mean, get a look at this helmet. Five side with the best bucket of the day by far. That one's not even in contention. Oh, he's got, he's a little bit jiggly there, but he's... He's got to bend his knees. He's running on ice. That's the problem. You can't, you know, I can't skate forward. You got to push side to side to use that whole blade. That, oh, oh, bend your knees. Bend your knees. He's got it. Yeah. He, oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. Sit back in that chair. Yep. Well done. Another very great run. Now, I think we got at least one more person up here. And the plot is going crazy for her. We might have a fan favorite. What's her name? What's her name? Morgan. We got Morgan on the blue line. A crowd favorite. That was easy to tell. I'm sure you guys can hear that as well. Look at the start on Morgan. Look at those crossovers too. Is that is that McDavid? Is that is that Dylan Larkin? Is that Matt Barzell? No. That's Morgan! That is Morgan! Across the finish line! That's gonna definitely put her in contention. Now I'm just I'm just eyeballing it too. I don't have a stopwatch up here, but maybe I should get my phone going. I'm gonna get the stopwatch going. We're getting loud for this guy too. I'm gonna get the stopwatch for this one so I can give you guys an exact time here. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. That one's on me. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> we got deep. And he's off. Look at the wheels on him. Look at the crossovers. Oh, he's got Artie on. He's the Artie Bell. He wants it more than anybody. I'll tell you that. This kid's got his eyes on the gold. He's going to come in at 15 seconds on the dot. I don't know the other times, but that's going to be good. That's going to be real good. He's got red in his socks. I think those were flames maybe coming off of his skates. He was going that fast. Starting the timer. Here we go. Now she's taking a wide route around the net, which honestly is a pretty good, pretty good call. Because if you can cut off that far side of the rink, that's going to take away a lot of, the, a lot of where you got to go. Make that distance a whole lot shorter. Yeah, she's moving. Now, she's only using her right skate, too. So she might have seen that other girl go earlier, and she'd like that tactic, maybe. I mean, it's working for her. I'll tell you what. I got one question. I mean, 
I'm curious if these guys are cold out there. Some of these girls and guys skating out there without any equipment. And she crosses the finish line at 38.92. Again, I don't know the other times, but that's a good one too. It died? Oh, we got the last one here, folks. As we got Timmy coming back with his Dreamville drippy sweater. J. Cole. Oh, look at the start here. Cool, Dreamville. Yeah, I just missed it. Uh, missing it out. Oh, you, you oh look at the spill. You timing these too? I was timing them. I forgot to do this one. See a lot of face plants? We saw some face plants, but I'll tell you what, we didn't see one person stay on the ice. You know, I went outside real quick, and I saw a lot of people in line. Here too, here, here, first pay in this, and Jay Thanks mean, for holding it down, brother. I can only say one thing. This is fun. For Having everybody. a lot of fun. Are you going to go to your men's league game? <laughs> I don't think I can. Really? So coming up next is Cap Sig taking on one of our first game, Teak Delta Kai. So the Zamboni's coming. We're going to end this stream. And coming up next, tune in to our third stream as we take on the first semifinal matchup in 10 minutes.